So to get started, I've already added a background image for our new text effect. Go over to your type tool and type in your text on the preview screen. Then you can head over to the essential graphics panel and modify the text to your preference. Once you're satisfied with how your text looks, set the duration of your text to about six seconds by grabbing the ends of the layer and dragging it across. Now go over to effects and find the basic 3D effect and drag that onto your text layer on the timeline. Starting from the first frame of your text layer, go over to effect controls and click on the stopwatch icon next to tilt, then set it to 90 degrees. Now move ahead one second and change the value of tilt to two times zero degrees and then right click on the keyframe we just created and select ease in. Go over to effects and search for the crop effect and drag it on top of your text layer. Under effect controls, click on the word crop, which will make this border appear around our preview screen. Click and drag the edges so that only your first letter is visible. Now search for the directional blur effect under effects and drag that on top of your text layer. Go to effect controls and set the blur length to 25 and then move your playhead in between the first and second keyframes and click on the stopwatch icon next to blur length. Move your playhead to the start of the text effect and set the blur length to zero. Then move it to the end of our tilt animation and set it to zero there as well. Now our animation is really starting to come together, so let's animate the rest of the letters. Duplicate your text layer by holding Alt and clicking and dragging above the first layer. Then you'll want to move the next layer so it's about five frames ahead of the first one like this. With the second text layer highlighted, under effect controls, click on crop and adjust the crop lines so it reveals the second letter on our preview screen. Now duplicate the second text layer and repeat the process again, moving the layer ahead five frames and then adjusting the crop to reveal the next letter in the sequence. Continue doing this until you've revealed all of your letters.